What's up guys, Tiger here bringing you guys a brand new video. Let's try to hit 20 likes on this video and yeah, let's get right into this tutorial. And before I do this tutorial or uh, teach you guys how to set up the web kit or playground for 3.55, I just want to give a huge shout out to my boy XE Brandon and he's really the person that kind of walked me through how exactly to set this up on Windows. So a huge shout out to him. Uh, I don't know if he wants me to leave any information or yeah. But show a picture of his Skype right here. I'm not going to show his username because I don't know if he wants people adding him. Just shout out to him. Enough of that. Point being, guys, let's get right into the tutorial. And first thing you're going to want to need is you're going to want XAMPP. And I'm going to leave a link to this down in the description below. And after you install that, it's pretty self-explanatory. I want you guys to go into Skype and go to your options. After you go into your options, go to advanced, go to connection, come over to this right here where it says use port 80 and 443 and uncheck it. So uncheck that and then click save. And once this is done, just literally restart or quit Skype by clicking on it, quit Skype. And once you restart it, your ports will be cleared and then you want to start this up. Make sure it's running right. It should do exactly what it's showing right here should start and it should say ports 80 and 443 the PIDs etc once you have that up next thing you want to do is you want to go into the directory for XAMPP which you could literally come to local disk C and it should be right here once you come to the directory you want to go to HT docs and you want to come into document well actually that folder won't be there you're gonna to have to make it so just make a new folder and name it document just like that and once you have that folder you want to open it make another uh, folder called EN ignore this folder right here this is completely useless I, that's just like an extra one I had just make a folder called N EN so new folder for anybody that doesn't know EN and then another folder called PS4 and then you want to put all of these files which you'll get from this right here this download link There'll be a download link for this in the description. You just literally want to extract them all into that folder. And yeah, I'll be right back when I'm on the PS4 to show you guys. Okay, guys, now we're back on the PS4. And the next thing I want you guys to do is open up CMD. And this is going to show my uh, external IP, I believe. Did I say that right? Or internal? I don't, I don't remember. But basically, it'll say IPv4. And what you want to do is you want to take this address. Mine is 192.1.3, oh, 168.1.3. And once you get this IP, all you have to really do is you have to make sure you have XAMPP running. And once it's running, all of that good stuff, you want to come over to your PS4, as you can see. And you want to go to your browser. Once you have your browser open, you literally just type in your... Uh, IP or IP4 address. I'm going to start a fresh tab just to prove that this is in fact working. So you want to type in 192. Point, yeah. I'm not going to read the whole thing out. And then you want to put slash document. I'm just going to put this last document part because it's taking too long. Slash EN slash PS4. Okay, because it's taking a bit long to type that all in. Once you load it, it should load up just like this. And it's a bit buggy sometimes when you try to load stuff up. I just want to warn you guys. If you try to, like, full evaluation, it might bug out a bit. It might, like, not work the first couple times. It's happened to me. But it does work over time. Like, you have to really spam it. If you know what I'm saying, I'm spamming it up oh, right there. See all the info just came up. We found modules, everything, WebKit PID. And I find this useful in a lot of ways, but yeah, I just bugged out and disappeared. And then you also have other things like memory dump and you could dump shit. Uh, I'm not going to really demonstrate this because I don't know what the fuck it's going to do. I know it's supposed to dump it into a part of the Apache XAMPP. Uh, there's a folder in there. 
I'll make a video on that later because there, the file browser was released and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you guys want to check it out. I'll be making a video on that later, hopefully. But guys, this is all I got for the tutorial today. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, comment. Uh, I don't know if I could really give out XE Brandon's info, but if he comments down in the comment section below, then you're welcome to hit him up if he wants you to, etc. guys. And subscribe for you new guys and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.